Hi, Joey. Hi, how you doing? Back here. I'm fine. Thanks a lot. You just came back from America a few weeks ago. Yeah. What did you do there? We were doing a tour with uh, Def Leppard, uh, a summer tour. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. But you're also planning a world tour, aren't you? We're going to go on a world tour. It starts in uh, November in Bombay in India, and then we do Australia and Japan. And after Christmas, we'll come here to you in Europe and do a tour. Why did you choose Bombay to start off? That's a weird place. Uh, yeah, it's weird, but we wanted to do something different. Yeah. It's different. But is it also... And then also, they have a lot of... They've listened to Europe a lot. They have a lot of pirate tapes and everything. Ah, I see. I see. Since you last came here, you remember with Adam, he was still presenting that show? Yeah. Um, something happened. You became world stars. And yeah. was that something you planned, or was it a complete surprise? No, we didn't. It was surprising. I think Final Counter was number one in 27 countries. And that only happens once in a lifetime, you know. It was a big surprise. We had a lot of fun, though. Yeah? yeah. It's working hard, too. Yes. Yeah, the band, we've been working since 1980. You know. Yeah. And you're still friends now. Yeah. That's good stuff. <laughs> right. What are your uh, nearest future plans except for the tour? Or is that just the main thing, the world tour? Yes, yeah. the world tour. We'll do a promotion tour right now in Europe. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, which, uh, which country do you like to play most? I like to play in uh, Japan a lot. Yeah. And America's nice to tour in because it's easy. It's, it's great. And, yeah. uh, and some countries in Europe is nice too. Yeah. It's different. Well, yeah. anyway, but let's, uh, <laughs> let's turn to completely different music now. Yeah. Could you please assist me with doing the top 10? The, the top 10? Yeah, go ahead, Steve. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> That's Swedish. You don't speak Swedish, do you? Let me do this in Swedish way. <laughs> All right. No problem. No, let me start here. Let me see. Uh, Number 10 this week uh, is Glenn, what was that, Glenn? Me, me, Medeiros. Medeiros, Glenn Medeiros, Long, long and Lasting Love. Mm. You like that? Yeah, yeah right on, okay. yeah, yeah, no problem. Okay, number 9, level 42, Heaven in My Hands. I think it's that's cool, I saw that video. Number 8, Debbie Gibson, Foolish foolish Beat. Uh, number 7, UB40, uh, Where Did I Go Wrong? And number 6, let's see, Kylie... Me know. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that old song Locomotion again. Yep. And one of my favorites, Louis Armstrong. I play trumpet myself, actually. You're kidding. Yeah, and uh, I remember he's one of my favorites. Remember the song Hello, Dolly? Oh, know? yes. Oh, beautiful. That's great. Oh. And uh, he's got this song, What a Wonderful World. <clears throat> that's number five. Number four is Millie Vanilli, Girl, You Know It's True. And uh, number three is a good song, too, Wonderful Tonight, Eric Clapton. It's great. And uh, number two, the sweet jazz and the plastic population. Wow, sounds weird to me. Yes, <laughs> it is weird. The only way is up. And uh, a great singer, uh, Sam Brown, is number one. Stop. Hey, you keep up very good with the supporting music. Don't nah, you? Some, some stuff. I hear some stuff. Right. <laughs> we will see you later on stage. Yeah, right on stage. Songs, you know, two songs today. Bloody hell, that's great. Mm, yeah, right. well, it's going to be later. fun. Thanks a lot. Take care.